Ladies and gentlemen, shooting on target number one, representing Finland, Antti Bigstrom. And his opponent, shooting on target number two, representing the Russian Federation, Galsan Bazarjampov. The line judge for this matchup is Christina Reichmeyer. Well, here we go for semi final number two. I'm going to say it, Nikki. Uh, Gazlan Bajajarpov is the clear favourite for this and could well do this in three sets. Agreed. You know, three sets, oh, I don't know. I'm going to say we're going to take it to the fourth set. Well, let's find out who is going to make it into the gold and who is going to have to come back and shoot for the bronze medal. Bajajarpov versus Wikström and it's Bazajarfov to get us underway. Nine. Nine. Well, that's the start the Finn would have wanted. Bodes well for the Russian Federation Archer. Twenty-eight there, and it looked a bit like uh, Bajajarpov was steering that one to the right. Nine, no. Nine is enough for Less the points. A twenty-nine is a strong start from Vikstrom. This is not certainly what I expected. The Finn has come out. Absolutely in the center of the target. Yeah, he shot well, didn't he, in his quarterfinal? You know, two ends of 29. He, he can shoot well. I don't think this was going to be a walkover. It's going to be a tough match. Bazazashov is, uh, you know, world number four, so quite a competitor to go against. Yeah, and a, a strong start, clearly very important when you're up against someone as good as Bazazashov. I suppose uh, Vikstrom's had a, a little bit of a longer rest. Does that, does that make that much difference? <laughs> I think that could go either way. It can make you have some time out to sit and have a long think about things as well, which can be uh, detrimental. So, yeah, it could go either way on, on whether that's helpful for you or not. But it, it, you know, it doesn't really make a, a big difference, you know, physically. Well, the world number four finds himself two set points to nil down. And Kazlan Bazarjapov starts off set number two with a pressurizing ten. So a 10 here from Bajajarpov puts this one out of reach and will put a pair of them level on two set points each. Nine, Nine. Nine leaves the door open. Back to back 28s for the Russian. Ten. 
Oh, Andy Bickstrom. Uh, he's delivering, isn't he? Three set points to one. He had a pr had a lot of pressure on to shoot that ten to level things up. They share the set points, and he maintains his two set point lead. Yeah, really, really good shooting. Like I say, he shot well through the quarterfinal as well. So, you know, we expect him to come out here and sh and, and do a similar thing, really. So. He's on form. He's given Bazazarpov, you know, a run for his money, which is we want to see. And oh, this is a tight match. It certainly is. 3-1, Vikstrom leading. Not what we expected. Vikstrom is the world number 88. He's 28 years old, similar to uh, Bazazarpov, 26 years old. Probably been on the circuit a similar amount of time. But the Russian is the world number four. And a strong favourite, not just for this match, but for the title here in Paris. Very impressed by Antti Wikström. Not only has he secured a quota place for Finland at the Olympic Games, but he's also in this fight and leading. Time for set number three. No, no. Well, where we've seen an eight so far today, that has meant the set has got away. No. Oof. No. Ten levels things up. Nine. No. And a nine, nine means there is a chance here for Vikstrom. A ten will give him the set points. it into the eight for a 26 so at least there's some consistency there he shot an eight at the start and I said an eight usually means you miss out on the set points and that is what's happened despite having an opportunity to go five one up Vikstrom finds himself at three apiece uh, what exactly is going to be going through both of these archers minds right now after an opportunity that got away from the fin eventually yeah, big shame for him because the door was wide open and he really could have taken it. Um, Pastor Sharpov's interesting because um, he keeps doing these big swings to the left, doesn't he? And I think, generally speaking, your front arm makes things go to the right. So whether he's a little bit soft on the front arm and he's really trying to pull it across to try and make something of it and get it closer to the middle. But, you know, they're not the nice, consistent shots we usually see. When you start swinging your arm around, something's not quite right. So let's see if he can settle back down. Well, it was enough to draw level here. Whatever happens, we're going to be going to five sets in this one. At three apiece, Bajaj Zharpov gets set number four underway. Really interesting shot. Did you see a little bit of movement from the back elbow there? Fantastic camera angle, but he still completed the shot. Great execution and into the 10. Nine. No. Well, a couple of adjustments made by Vikstrom after a nine. And this will be piling the pressure on the fin. Opportunity to go into the lead for the first time. No. No. Wasn't happy. 29. A 10 required to share the points. No. 
high there so the points go to the Russian too big uh, size or uh, uh, perhaps holding back an expletive Nikki I thought I saw a little bit of movement whether it was a little movement down on that last arrow I thought something looked a bit different and then they went high in the nine uh, from Vikstrom but um, yeah, Basil Sharpop is still not kind of happy, is he? That was a swing from the other side this time. He went left and he was trying to correct it to the right. So, you know, he can obviously feel his shot. He's got fantastic sensation of what's going on. And when that release happens, he knows immediately where the arrow's headed and he's trying to make an influence to it quite quickly. But he just, yeah, just needs to keep his form and do his normal shot because we know they can hit the 10. That was that last one. I just saw a little bit of movement down as he released, so... Well, Bajaj Zharpov, despite the uh, difficulties he may be facing at the moment, has taken the lead for the first time. Vikstrom will have to try and fight back in the fifth set here. No, no. Just clipping the line. A bit more like it, Nikki. Yeah. See the difference? No bow condo, just good, well balanced shots. Into the ten to make it as difficult as possible, but a chance here to take this one. A nine is all he needs. Nine. And it's a nine that he gets, four or 29. Oh, They'll nine. share the set points, but that is enough for a six, four win for Gazlan Bajajarpov. I said it would be done in three. Nikki, you said it would take at least four. You were right. It actually took five in the end and nervy, nervy moments for Bajajarpov throughout until the last set yeah he really settled down did he in that last set lots of uh, corrections through the match but he's just got to stick with those nicely balanced shots with nice follow through they're the ones we see hit the 10. Well, there we have it. Maja Zharpov through to the gold medal match where he'll face Dan Olaru.